and all the people say. Currently, 10.43, November 4th in Tokyo, Japan, and today's the day that we do the 10K Cowley Challenge. I've always wanted to do this, just put it off for so long. I did. I actually wanted to do it when I was cutting last spring. I was like, all right, I'll do it, but I was going home, so I didn't want to just like risk the chance of gaining fat and stuff, and like, I don't know, all that hard work, I don't understand why I would do the 10K Cowley Challenge, but I'm bulking now, so don't give a fuck. So, we're about to go do this 10k calorie challenge in Japan. It is freaking, I believe it's like 10.30 right now. I should have woke up earlier, but I had, was playing Call of Duty last night because that dropped. Um, so, we're going to try and finish this as early as possible today because I have to be up at 04 tomorrow for duty. But yeah, we're going to fucking start this off. I'm going to show you guys my physique now. We're going to show you guys my weight right now. And after I cram 10,000 calories down my freaking throat, I'm going to... Um, take pictures after and see how much weight I gain because I've seen people gaining like 10 freaking pounds or so so we'll see and then tomorrow aftermath hopefully I drop the weight or a few days later I'll probably drop the weight hopefully that's that's the idea but make this video a little different we're in Tokyo Japan so the foods are gonna be probably sushi Japanese curry donuts Japanese McDonald's all that crap so stay tuned so a little bit of a tan line so here's the starting physique Obviously, you got a little bit of abs showing here. I don't believe those are going to freaking stay here. Um, I don't know if I can get my back in that. Maybe, I don't know. But So, we will see what happens. Obviously, not the best physique, but I'm 100% sure I will have a food baby at least out here. So, yeah, I'll show you guys the physique after, but let's check how much I weigh. All right, so just got a haircut. We picked up some freaking Dunk, uh, a dozen of Dunkin' Donuts. <sighs> I don't even think I've ever ate more than like four donuts in my life. So I'm not, I haven't eaten anything since last night, so I don't know if I can fucking slam down all these donuts, but we're gonna try because we got 10,000 calories to eat. So I'm gonna put this into the, I'm gonna be tracking all my calories too with freaking my fitness pal. So highly recommend if you guys are losing weight or just wanna get fat like me and do this 10K challenge, definitely use my fitness pal. But I'll be putting everything in my fitness pal to make sure I do hit 10,000 calories. You know, you cannot drink uh, liquid calories and stuff in this. So just solid foods I'll be counting. But let's eat these donuts. Okay, so according to my fitness pal, a dozen donuts, three strawberry frosted, three French curlers, three Boston cream, three glazed donuts. We are currently at 3,360 calories. So we got a little under 7,000 to eat. So let's go. Darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling, you Darling Six donuts left. I sip it on my minion sippy cup and I'm full as fuck right now, so. Uh, 
We're gonna slam these down though. I probably should have started this earlier. I slept till 10 and went to bed because I was playing Call of Duty last night. Woke up at like freaking. Went to bed at like 3, woke up at like 10. I don't want to get out of bed. So people say the one thing they regret at the end of this is uh, not finishing their food quick enough. We're not having more time to eat. So I started out my day with a dozen donuts, and then after this, I'll probably go get some Japanese curry, some garlic cheese naan, some uh, some sushi, go to McDonald's. Then I'm gonna go to the gym and um, probably hopefully have a great workout with all this food I'm eating. And then I'm gonna go um, to Domino's later to finish out the night, but I'm gonna finish these donuts so I can hop on some Call of Duty right now. But currently, it is 1500 right now. I have three donuts left, I ended up eating had to do math there for a second. I ended up having to do uh, eight, eight, nine donuts before I played some Call of Duty and stuff. And now I'm just like, I, I'm all donut out for now. So what I'm gonna do is go get some Japanese curry right now. We're gonna come back. We're gonna slam these donuts. Then we're gonna hit a gym workout. And then I'm gonna hit, uh, get some sushi after that. And then depending on how many calories I got left after sushi, we're probably gonna pick up a Domino's pizza pie to end the video. But yeah, let's go get some of that Japanese curry. We'll finish these donuts off tonight with some ice cream and candy, so. Second meal for today is Coco's Curry House, Japanese curry things. You guys have been following me on my channel for a while. You guys know I love this place. It's pretty much like the Chick-fil-A Japan, so. Let's go. So once again, I'm the only one in the Coco's restaurant right now, but currently with, I got the chicken color curry and garlic cheese naan, which we are currently at. Usually has a hard time focusing. We're at 4,700 calories for the day, so probably gonna go to the gym after this, then get, I can eat at least 2,000 sushi, and then probably have some Domino's later, because I have to finish this by midnight, so. But this is what we got. So we got chicken cutlet, 300 grams of white rice, curry that's spiced a little too, and this is pretty much bread with mozzarella cheese and garlic on it. And the way this works, so they have these in Japan. So you choose your quantity of rice, and then you can go to your spice level, spice level one through 10, and then they have all these options, pork, cutlet, sausage, hamburger, all this crap, but I usually just go with the chicken color curry every time I come here, because it's really good. Send me, darling. curry and I'm so full like I feel like I'm gonna blow up right now I feel pregnant but we still have about 5,300 calories to go so if I don't fall asleep because every time I eat cocos I fall asleep I'm gonna uh, go to the gym and then after the gym it's either gonna be Domino's or sushi whatever I'm craving first so stay tuned and we still have those three donuts I have to eat later so I just want to throw up thinking about that but we're gonna get it done Hello. So we just fucking ate or a dozen donuts. I feel kind of fine. I am really starting to get tired. Like I freaking laid on the ground with the dogs before and I was literally just crashing. So hopefully once I get to the gym, once I play some music and shit, we'll be good. But we're about to go fucking gym, back, hypertrophy, and tricep hypertrophy. Maybe some abs. Probably not going to because I really have like a giant fucking, I look pregnant already. So yeah, then we're gonna go to some sushi row, conveyor belt sushi, and then we're gonna pick up some Domino's pizza, some ice cream, some cookies, some candy, come back here, watch some Netflix, finish off this challenge, and I'm gonna hit bed, hit the bed, because I have to be up at 04 tomorrow, but let's go. Alright, so we just came 
back from the gym, and I'm gonna say I didn't even take pre-workout on my uh, my back day. And I had so much energy. I think from the donuts and then all the carb, the carbs from the donuts and the curry and stuff. Like I had just like this stupid amount of energy. I was lifting weight that like I was doing hypertrophy volume stuff. So I was doing like uh, five sets of twelve or something like that. So I did a lot of volume. I was gonna bring my camera to record it. But the thing is, uh, I didn't realize that, I forgot today was Saturday, the gym closes at 8 o'clock and it was like 1900, so I like having a little bit more time if I do bring my camera to the gym. So I just hit it really quick, uh, hit some uh, two exercises for triceps and about four for back. But we're finishing out the night, well we're not finishing out the night, we're kind of wrapping up the night now. We're about, uh, we're at Sushi Road now, this is another spot, it's called Conveyor Belt Sushi in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, sushi's coming right now. So basically what it is, it's like a touch screen. It's like an iPad. I'll show you in a minute once I grab this eel. So you got some eel right here. Uh, so you go right here on the touch screen and you order whatever you want and then it comes around a conveyor belt right here and as it comes along, the little rings to tell you which one's yours. So I'm gonna try and eat as much sushi as I can right now. So we will see what happens. I probably eat about like 1,500 calories maybe worth of sushi here, and right now we're at 5,600 calories a day, so we got 4,400 more left. I am gonna get ice cream, gonna get some candy and stuff. I most likely will get Domino's after this too, depending on how I feel. But sushi does fill me up, so we'll see. But it's about 8:30 right now. I'm trying to get to bed and finish it as quick as possible because I have a rough day tomorrow. So yeah. So when your food comes, it's gonna come up right there. It's like they're soon to arrive, and then. That is my food right there coming. Okay, so just finished up eating at Sushi Row, Conveyor Belt Sushi. If you guys are new to my channel, obviously the Conveyor Belt Sushi is new to you too. But I just ate about 1500 calories worth of sushi. I'm currently, according to my fitness pal, Find out real quick. I was actually able to log everything in my fitness pal. Actually, believe it or not, a lot of Japanese stuff does come up in my fitness pal. Uh, if you guys don't know what my fitness pal is, it's pretty much a nutritional database for you to count calories and stuff, for to lose weight, gain weight, maintain weight, all that crap. It's free. So if you guys want to go get it in the app store, highly recommend it. But right now we are at. If it will focus. All right, well, says this camera won't focus. We're currently at 6,146 calories. So we have about 3,750, 3,700, I don't fucking know. 3,500 left around there. Uh, so we're probably going to skip Domino's since I'm super full. And I'm going to get uh, some candy, some ice cream, and something else because we got 4,000 calories left to eat. So yeah, I feel like I'm going to blow up. Well, I just plan on going to McDonald's in Japan, but I just realized they don't accept debit cards because I've only been to McDonald's like a year ago, last August. So I didn't know because I thought a major company like that would accept debit cards because I'm about to go to Domino's right now and they accept debit cards. So scratch McDonald's. We're going to go to Domino's, probably pick up like a medium margarita pizza. I'm pretty full, so it's going to be a struggle slamming that down, plus ice cream, plus Mike and Ike's. Hopefully with this Domino's, I'll have to look it up on the Japan website, how many calories it is. Hopefully we hit this 10,000 so I can call it a night because I'm stuffed. So, closing up on the night, we are. it is 22.15. We have about an hour and 45 minutes left to consume another 2,000 calories. Because right now we're going to eat this margarita pizza from Domino's Japan. It's about 1,000 calories. Put it in my fitness pal already. Ready to put the ice cream in my fitness pal because I can finish that. 
The Mike and Ike's are in my fitness pal, and basically what we're at is 9,140 calories. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat after I eat all that food to get me that other 860 calories. So well, let's kill this food, and I'll figure it out. Well, no more pizza, just two tomatoes. <sighs> Pretty full, but we still have a uh, pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream to eat, Mike and Ike's to eat, <clears throat> and that's something that's gonna equal another 860 calories. So, yeah, it is, uh, it's 10.23 right now, so I have about an hour and 27 minutes left, but. All right, we got the washing machine playing in the background, so hopefully you guys can hear me, but here's what we got left for tonight. Tonight we got freaking Mike and Ike's left, pint of Ben and Jerry's peanut butter cup ice cream, and then we're gonna make fucking four peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to finish up the night. Two servings of peanut butter, four servings of a Smucker's grape jelly, four, four slices of the Wonder Thin white bread, putting it all on a food scale right here, as you guys can see, so I'm not cheating the calories, and once that all is entered and I eat it all, we are exactly my focus for me this one time. We are exactly at 10,000 calories right there. So, today's nutrition, aside from the sushi, because the uh, macros didn't come up for the sushi, uh, 186 grams of protein, so we're probably about over 215, 220 with the sushi, uh, 961 grams of carbs, and 408 grams of fat. Usually I eat 3,900 calories since I'm on a lean bulk right now and we ate fucking 10,000. So we'll see what the effects are uh, tomorrow and later as the weeks progress. I mean, uh, as a couple days progress and see how the weight drops. Once I finish all this food, I will hop on the food scale. On the food scale, I'll break the damn scale. I'll hop on the regular scale in the bathroom. See how much extra weight I put on. A lot of it's glycogen, water, food, and all that crap. And then tomorrow morning, I'll see how much I weigh too. But I, from other people's studies and other people's videos, I believe this weight will just gradually just get back to normal in the next two, three days. But I know after I eat all this food, I'm not gonna wanna look at food ever again. So, let's eat all this food. According to the food scale right now, we're at 65 grams. Two servings of peanut butter is uh, 62 grams. So we're a little bit over, but it's all right, so. Now we need the jelly. We're gonna eat these. I'm gonna try and kill all this food in the next 10 minutes. I'm just so tired of eating. I'm so tired of eating. I I don't want to eat ever again. See the part about the challenges? I have like an hour and 20 minutes left of it, but I have to also have to be up in like four, four hours, so it's not like sleeping is going to help me. I'm going to feel disgusting tomorrow. It is 23.20 right now, 11.20 at night for people who don't know. I have that much ice cream left and a box of Mike and Ike's to eat in 40 minutes. I'm getting so full, it's ridiculous, so. Uh, this is the worst. I don't know why people do this, and like I don't know how people do 15 or 20K challenges, because this is just shit. Like, I've been eating all day. I feel like a freaking like, taquito right now. Like. Not cool. This uh, this is all I got left. This challenge makes me want to just start dieting and cut again for the rest of my life, or just just have water for the rest of my life. And I hate food so much. Like I'm struggling hard. I should have woke up. I bet you three, four hours could have made a big difference with this because I'm so full. 
And I know once I eat these Mike and Ikes, I'm gonna feel so sick, but I'm just gonna freaking go right to sleep as soon as I finish that box, but. Let me try and finish this peanut butter cup ice cream before I blow up. Eat this candy and fucking call it a night, I'm done. It's 23.30. This is what's holding me back right now. 30 minutes in a box of Mike and Ike's. I feel disgusting. Twenty-three fifty-four. Six minutes remaining. Four hundred calories left. That that pint of ice cream. Fuck me up. I do not want to eat any food. Like, a part of me just wants to give up at 9,600 right now, but I'm 400 off. So just like, I think I might just eat two giant spoonfuls of peanut butter, hopefully, and be able to swallow it and just freaking be done and just lay in my own filth. I honestly feel like I could blow up my food, baby. I feel like I'm giving birth to like triplets or something. We're gonna we're gonna eat some fucking peanut butter real quick and uh, yeah. 23.55 right now, 400 calories left. I decided I cannot eat my Mike and Ikes anymore. After eating that Ben & Jerry's ice cream, I just feel even more disgusting and any thought of just sugar or more sweets going into my body, I honestly will throw up all over the place. So, I'm not opening those or eating them. I will burn them and all the food that's in this house, I will burn. Um, I 400 calories left, I might just frickin' face two spoonfuls of peanut butter and just call it a night, because I'm so exhausted. I have to be up in like three hours, so it's gonna be fucked tomorrow. I'm gonna feel like garbage. Uh, my body's all hot and stuff, so I think just thermogenesis and just trying to burn off all those extra calories. My body's going crazy right now. Hopefully I don't have a heart attack in my sleep. But yeah, let's eat this peanut butter and call it a night. Let's get my weight. Let's look how disgusting I look in the mirror and let's just end this shit because this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> uh. Question is, how do people do like 20,000? Like, I don't understand people who do competitive eating and all that crap. Like, you should be shot like instantly. <laughs> Uh, I should have just called it quits, but this is it. Uh, it's handy dandy food scale and peanut butter. It's the remaining parts. That's it. I'm never eating again. To end the cha to end the challenge. It's well focused. We got glazed donut, Boston cream donut, French curler, strawberry frosted, two and a half servings of peanut butter, four sandwich, four peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, more peanut butter, garlic cheese naan, chicken cutlet curry. Eight pieces of salmon and cheese sushi, eight pieces of sushi eel, eight pieces of shrimp and cheese, a whole pint of peanut butter cup ice cream, a whole pie of margarita pizza. I'm done. I'm 100%. I'm never eating again. Absolutely not. Well, there go the abs. Like... Jesus Christ, I feel like if I get popped with a needle, I'll just blow up, like. Nah, I feel so bloated, it's ridiculous right now. Well, we go from abs to this, so let's see how much we freaking weigh, because I look gross. 203 pounds. 
We're gonna round that up. We're gonna round that up. So we're at, started at 196. So 100 is four, seven. I've gained about eight pounds. So we'll see over the next couple days if my weight fluctuates or not. If you guys wanna know, I probably won't make a follow up video that late about how it went, but if you guys want some updates about my weight and all that crap, and if my body went back to normal or something like that, or how this affected me, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. The link's in the description below. It's also gonna be the end card of this video. Follow me on there, because I post a lot of off-camera stuff that you guys don't see on YouTube. A lot more into my military life stuff that I can't put on YouTube. Um, but yeah, if you guys are stopping for the first time, first time, I can't even talk, I'm gonna blow up. If you guys are stopping in for the first time, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on. If you made it this far in this video, comment Squidward, because if you guys remember that Spongebob episode where Squidward eats too many carpet patties and blows up, it might happen to me in a little bit when I go to sleep. So, I'll see you guys next week.